Okay, just measuring the new piece of uh, Perspex here. Uh, cutting it to size. I use a Dremel and the uh, small cut-off saw and just gently go around cutting through piece by piece. It's a bit tedious and it heats it up and it melts it a little bit, but it's fine. Once it comes off, I'm left with a fairly rough and ready end. It's better to do it that way though, I think, than use other methods where you can break it or crack it. I think this is a pretty safe way of doing it. I'm now cutting down one of the other pieces. There we have it. Now, oh, that was very quick. Uh, just testing this O-ring for an end cap. I think this is the uh, I think this is the motor room, and I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so these are the bulkheads, and I've just screwed these connectors onto here. Um, with the notion of putting these um, these pieces on here, gluing them on, so that it's removable, so that I have a base to put the sensor on. So I'm going to do that. You can see that they're the holes for the gearbox. That's the hole for the central uh, runner. This is the um, central thread. This is the hole for the motor to fit through, and this looks straight through into the back of the um, piston. So once I've got this done, and these are, are um, uh, gluing, I'm going to glue these in. Can't see this very well, but I'm using the um, glue, and I've put some foil in there to stop the uh, any uh, gluing of the of the actual bracket to the bulkhead because this stuff sets really really hard and I think that'll be fine that's it taking this off comes off very nicely very easily and it's all glued together that was the plan Okay, so here we have, this is the first time I've fitted it, and this is going to be a bit of a judgment call as to where it goes. I think, I think that position there is about perfect. We have the centre in the middle of the boat, we've got this here, we've got that much pumping capacity there, this much there, that. try and work to that position. So I'm creating now a bracket that's going to hold the WTC down in the back, in the stern part of it. And as usual, um, I love heating this stuff up. doing this in real time so you get a sense of how long it takes to heat. I think this is uh, 6 mil acrylic. Now jam it in there and hold a piece of brass against it because that'll help cool it. It takes a long time to heat and it takes a fair while to cool.
and there it is. Just dropping it in some water. That's it. Alright, so this is the end panel for the um, watertight cylinder. I've drilled a couple of really big holes in here. And these, naturally enough, are the drainage holes for the piston as it pumps the water in and out. This is very important. It has the, the water is going to run out of here at the end. This is mainly for air. That probably doesn't need to be that big. And the central one, well, that can come or go. It really doesn't matter what size that is. So that's going to allow the water to flow in and out of the piston tank. Now this little hole here is the locking screw. This is a little bit out of, out of um, center, as you can see. And that's just my problem, the way I've made this. But this is the piece of bolt, and it's just bolted here into this piece of bent perspex. I've put a, a nice groove on here, and that is so that the water can easily flow out of the, um, of the bottom groove. Now this uh, here matches the panel that I put in the bottom that's not symmetrical. So this piece now fits in here like so. That's it. Fits over there. This now fits onto the front of it. It's a little bit out of center, but that's completely fine. It really doesn't matter where it is. And I'm going to glue that in with, some, with, the, uh, with the epoxy in a minute, with some um, fiberglass filled um, car body filler. That's, that's just not going to move anywhere. I'll drill a couple of holes in there first, and that's going to be as solid as a rock. So once I've got that in place, and once that's dry, I will attach then what I need to to the other end of the cylinder to hold that in place. But this is going to be the part I'm going to push this in, it's going to lock in, and then I'll screw down the other end. Looks a bit messy, but so does other parts of this hull. This is going to be fine. Same thing here, just drilled a couple of holes, mark those out, I'm going to tap those in. So that then I'm going to, the, the part that's going to connect is going to go straight down through into the bottom. So what I'm do doing now is just fine adjusting some of this, just cutting it back in the grinder so that the top will fit properly.